Hello and welcome to Brooklyn Pulse GED Express. With me, Teacher Marky. Today's topic focuses on GED mathematics. This is about place value and rounding decimal numbers. On the previous screencast, I had taught you about place value and rounding whole numbers, but right now we're going to focus on decimal numbers. Now, at the end of the discussion, students understand the place value of decimal numbers and they can be able to round off decimals numbers to the nearest tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now, let's have a review of the decimal place value. Now, on the last discussion, I have taught you the position of the whole numbers and its place value. Like, for example, the whole number here is ones and we have here tens and hundreds and thousands. Now, we have here the dot to indicate that there is a decimal and the place value of the number here after the dot is the tenths place. So we have here a dot and that will be the tenths place and this will be the hundredths place and the thousandths place and the ten thousandths place. So generally, you just start with tenths instead of ones. And then you add DHS. And in this case, that is being read as end. Now, next. For example, we have here a number which is 4.18. We read that as 4 and 18 hundredths. Now, suppose we have here a number 5.218. So 2 is on the 10th place, and 1 is on the 100th place, and 8 is on the 1,000th place. And we read this as 5 and 218 thousands. It's good that you know how to read decimals correctly. Now, suppose we have here 25.010. So we read, this, we read that as 25 and 10 thousands. Now, what if we have this number, 0 0.0009? We read that as 9 ten thousands. Now, how are you going to round to the nearest hundreds? Now, this is basically related to my previous discussion. So, in this case, this is ones place, this is hundreds place, and we need to consider the number that is preceded by the number that we are rounding which is number two the number preceded by number two is seven so we have the basic rule if it's zero to four we let the number stays the same and if it's five to nine we add the num we add one to the number that we are rounding but in this case since we are rounding to the nearest hundreds we will remove the number before the number that we are rounding now we have here two that is the number before seven and we will follow the rule like what i mentioned if it's five or more we add one so two plus one that will give you three so if we're going to round it to the nearest hundreds that will become 33 35 and 33 hundredths so we unlike with the whole numbers we are not putting zero here but we are just removing it and then letting the numbers that are in hundreds place stay now in this case the rounding of 35.327 is 35.33 now suppose we have here 4.871 you read this as 4 and 871 thousands now you find your number that would be the tenth place that would be 8 now 8 is being preceded by 4 by 7 i'm sorry and we follow the rule if it's 5 to 9 we add 1 to the number so that will become 8 plus 1, that will become 4.9. So the answer is 4.9. So we will no longer put zeros here, unlike with the whole numbers. 
Next, we have here 62 and 421 thousands. Now, we're going to round this to the nearest hundreds. And we have here our number which is on the hundreds place that would be two and the number being preceded by two is one so we follow the rule if it's zero to four we will let the number stay on its original form if it's five to nine we add one now in this case four is or four or less we will just ignore since one is less than four we will just drop it or remove it so the Rounding of 62.421 will become 62.42. Now, since you have already an understanding on how to identify place value and round off decimals, let's try these examples. Now, try the following problems on your own. So, round to the nearest tens, 3.478. Would you like to guess the answer? In this case, we have 4, which is on the 10th place, and the number that is being preceded by 4 is 7. 7 is greater than 5, so the answer will become 3.5. Exactly. How about the next example on your right? Round to the nearest hundreds. So, suppose we have here 22 and 5,972 ten thousands. What would be your answer? So we encircle the number. We have here 9, that is the hundredths place on the decimal number. And the number that is being preceded by our rounding number is 7, which is greater than 5. So our rule basically is we add 1 to 9 and we scrum this off or we don't include this off on our rounding since we are only rounding to the nearest hundreds. But what if the answer here, 9 plus 1 is 10? What should you do? Now, in that case, we make the 0 and we add the 1 to this number. So, the answer will become 22.60. Good job! Now, let's try this example. What did you get when you rounded 35 and 26 hundreds to the nearest tenths? The answer will be 35.3. Great job! How about this number? Oops. Now. Round 5.65421 to the nearest thousands. So in this case, we have here. Tenths place, hundreds place, and thousands place. And... The thousands place is 4, and that is being preceded by 2. 2 is less than 5, so the answer would be 5 and 6,000. 654 thousands. Now, great job, everyone, and congratulations for trying. Now, for the lesson summary, we always follow our rule we find the number and look for the next number if it's four or less we just ignore and if it's five or more we add one more that would be the basic of rounding specifically in decimals and unlike with whole numbers we will not turn those numbers on our right before the number that we are rounding into zeros but we will just take it off now, for the references that I have made for today's discussion, that would be Macro Hill Preparation for GED Test and Nelson's Math 2017. You can make use of these references if you want to read in advance. And thank you so much for watching. That will be all for today. I'll see you in my next screencast. And since you are here already, you might as well subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you find it helpful you can give a thumbs up and share this video now if you want to connect with us you can visit www.pocketpulse.org or go to our facebook page at facebook.com slash if you have questions regarding our organization you can give us a message through line or give us a call at 081 417 
Thank you so much and have a great day, everyone. Bye.